Gwendolyn, for you are the dearest to me, my sweet Gwendolyn, I write you now because I fear I may not get another chance. I fear that I may not make it through this damnable war, through the month, through the week, through the night, to write you again. So I write you now. I write to tell you that I love you, Gwendolyn. You are the fire in my belly that moves me along the battlefield. I can no longer give any credence to your father's qualms or my mother's worry. I fear this war has removed the time I have to speak in riddle and obfuscated truths. I love you. The hours spent with you are the most precious to me, made only more precious by our separation and the tanks rolling across Europe designed for my death or the death of our enemies. The recent and relentless bloodshed has not tempered my love for you, but instead, these grisly visages have only deepened my desire to see your immaculate, glowing face. <laughs> if, and if, and if, I should live through the darkest night that Europe has ever seen, then I will return and hold you until the earth crumbles away around us both. I shall keep you safe, and you shall keep me whole. The rest of the men are gearing up now, and I hear shots from across the fields. I must, I end this letter now, but know that my love never will. Entirely yours, Jack Endricott. P.S. <laughs> the guns are ringing out now, and I truly have no more time to write, but your last question to me has continued to sound in my head. I'll answer it now in case I don't get another chance. My favorite words. <laughs> are pineapple, furry, happily, Idaho, and giraffe. <laughs> that was the letter that my grandfather wrote. <laughs> Experiment number one, Dear Madlibs. Experiment number two, I wouldn't call that a grocery store.
Experiment number two. I wouldn't call that a grocery store. Experiment number three. Parkour Prov. Something crazy is going on in your body. <laughs> 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 
Look! I'm gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> Zoom into the uh, inside her immune system. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh yeah? <laughs> Try me. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> Garden dirt looks delicious. What is it? What is the meat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh man, I think all my plants are dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> you get new plants. This is just aerating the soil. <laughs> Experiment number three, parkour drop. Experiment number four, let's do it.
potion, potion, potion. Why the fuck do they sell those stupid kids? Truth is priceless! <laughs> Who decided that should be legal? There's gotta be a law against this. Experiment number four. Let's do it. Experiment number five. Shut it and run.
Experiment number five, shut it, plus one. <laughs> Experiment number six, you think I know more than you. questions, but to make this a little bit more fun, I'm going to do it blindfolded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First question. Who wrote this? <laughs> Colton, you wrote this? That's not, that's not good. Josh is raising his hand. This is, this looks like Colton's hand on <laughs> My birthday's on April 30th. That's not a good question. <laughs> Next question. There's not, not a lot of light up here. Who built the Sistine Chapel? George Carlin. Oh. That's the question. Why do you do I can't read, I can't read that word. I don't know what that Um would you buy me a six pack of beer because I forgot my ID? Talk to me after the show. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm trying to get through a lot of these. <laughs> um, where, where would I find a pet monkey? Um, you can find them cheap on eBay, but uh, really Amazon, that's the best place. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you like Jevon's novel? That's Jevon's. <laughs> I didn't answer. I didn't answer. Needs edits. <laughs> Sorry, Jevon. All right. It's okay. It makes sense. Um, can somebody read this one for me? I can't read the handwriting. Can somebody come up here and read this one. Got it. Got it. How thick is the batter? Question mark. <laughs> That's the third date question. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't know how much time I have. It's, uh, uh, all right. Um, let's see. If you were a river, which river would you be? Uh, I don't like to swim. <laughs> <laughs> how much does gravity weigh? Oh, fuck on. Come on, guys. <laughs> There's a few more questions in here. <laughs> All right. Um, what is the meaning of life, and how does it affect my waist size? What does that even mean? <laughs> Experiment number six. You think I know more than you. Experiment number seven. Isn't that inspiring? Can we get a, oh, first the people in the, 
I think I'm in this one. From this other time, we get a location where people gather, such as a uh, church. Zoo. A zoo. Great. And what's like the most mundane thing happening at the zoo? Uh, Lines. Popcorn selling. Yes. Popcorn selling. Thank you. Popcorn selling. Popcorn Great. Selling. Popcorn selling. Half a butt, half a butt of popcorn. Yeah. Hey Marge, he wants half a butt of popcorn. I want all of it buttered, but I only want it filled to the halfway point. Are you sure? It's not good for you. That butter's not good for your tummy. You want to spread it out if you can. Well, I want half the butter and half the popcorn. What kind of game are you playing, kid? The kind of game I'm playing has no rules. I'm on a strict diet. <laughs> only ever eat half of what you're gonna eat. Anything you order, see half of it, or order half of it, if you can. <laughs> because if you can, and you can, then you're going to eat half as much then as you would have normally. <laughs> and if you only eat half as much, eventually you'll weigh half as much. <laughs> no matter where you started from. <laughs> That's what I'm here to tell you today. <laughs> only eat half. <laughs> <laughs> but we're still gonna charge you full price. You're gonna charge me full price? Yeah. You're not That's gonna fine. I mean, and I'm sorry, I misunderstood. I thought you wanted half the barrel with butter, half the barrel with popcorn. Let's <laughs> split down the middle. One hit with butter? That's what I thought. That's it's easy to misconstrue what he wants. Kind of like yeah, a right. deconstructed hey, popcorn. Can you order already? I've been waiting. I've, I've been trying to order this whole time. We Is gotta make it? it right. We gotta make it right at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> We have standards here. We're the greatest zoo on the West Coast. Woo! At least in Southern California. I haven't been further up, but we have standards. We have a fleet of pandas. Each one of them is adorable. All on loan from China, because China owns all pandas. We have standards. If you want to order yeah. ahead of me while they try and figure mine out, you can. Are you, I, I mean, I don't want to interrupt, but... I... I... <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for hours in this line. I was starving. I had to go to the bathroom, and here he was, getting half a thing of popcorn. Does he know I've been waiting all my life? I wait for the fart. I wait to go into work. I wait to go and succeed in life, and this moment just really took it out of me. I just wanted popcorn. I still only want popcorn. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this one has extra salt if you want. Are you okay with an extra salt? Yeah, I'm fine with extra salt. <laughs> great. <laughs> great. Hey, you're doing great. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> you think Marge didn't have bigger plans than to be some yokel second-hand banana? <laughs> <laughs> Second grade popcorn stand in shitty zoo that doesn't even have red pandas? <laughs> Isn't that inspiring? Yes. Experiment number eight, AMA. Living this trend of uh, asking questions and then answering them, you all ask me personal questions and I'm going to answer them right now. That's nice. All right. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no, this is a tough one. Um, 
going to say the constant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, uh, Santa Cruz for four months and then Northridge for a weekend. <laughs> uh, not too well recently, actually. Uh, mm. Probably. <laughs> uh, relevant. <laughs> Eight and a half. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, the price is right. <laughs> Don't you by the Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, week and a half ago. Experiment number eight, A M A. Yay! Experiment number nine, halftime, the classic short form game. They're saying a red one. I wouldn't be worried about it. It's probably just behind the cloud. <laughs> what? See, your optimism is not welcome here right now. This is why you hired me to keep spirits up in the control Wait, they, tower. Not working. What, what do you mean you've never been through a cloud Chief, before? They, they've got plenty of fuel. If there's, if these clouds clear up, they'll be able to land in a couple of hours. We don't, but so we don't know where. We don't know where they're going to land. No crashing will happen in a cloud. What kind of weird sounds? So crashing will happen in a cloud. It's probably like the sound of angels. Angels live inside clouds. Oh, for clouds. fuck's sake. Now, no. And scene! Oh. Do you think you can, they can do that same scene in 30 seconds? Yeah. Can't, yeah. Be, can't, yeah. can't be done. You'd have to be out of your fucking mind. I <laughs> 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 oh, so you that scene that says so 30 seconds, go! You lost the plane? Lost yeah, the plane. sorry, Chief, that we lost the plane. Don't worry, it's probably just behind the cloud. Your optimism cloud. is not it's optimism. In a red cloud? No, it's in a cloud. Oh, that's dangerous. But I understand, Tracy. That's not. My helpful. optimism is keeping you from killing each other. Yeah. Yeah. Strange, Strange sounds. sounds. Strange sounds. Look, they have plenty of fuel. They can circle around for a couple hours. They'll be fine. The sounds are angels. Oh, fuck off! Jesus, fuck off. Jesus. Jesus. Wow. angel. And see. <laughs> That was 30 seconds. Do you think you can see that same scene in 15 seconds? No! 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 You lost the plane? It's Red behind, cloud? It's behind a cloud. Oh, God. Clouds are where planes live and also angels. Shut, Shut the fuck up, Tracy. Jesus Christ. Look, they're running out of air and they're running out of fuel. That's bad! That's I know. strange noise. The cloud is made out of air.
experiment number nine, halftime, the classic short form game. <laughs> experiment number 10, three minute Hamilton. Understanding where I'm at, okay? I think that all that weight from that top hat is crushing the weight of all the thoughts that you should be having. <laughs> <coughs> and that is. He was kidding. kicked in the head by a horse. <laughs> <laughs> My top hat's good! Horses are bad! My top, top hat's good! good. Horses, Horses are, are bad. bad! My top, top hat's good! Horses are bad! bad. Alright. 
You know, we've been roommates for a long time. <laughs> you know, but I always, I always come to you for advice. I feel, yeah. I feel like of our friends, you're the most level-headed. You have the best advice. That's true. So, <laughs> I have a bit of a problem. I have a problem, too. Well, this is intriguing. I'll hear your problem first, though. My problem first? Okay. So, this past weekend, I'm sure you saw it all over social media. I was at Jeff's party, and you know how I get at Jeff's parties. Uh, I'm, I'm worried about what I'm about to hear. Uh, so I destroyed his baseball memorabilia collection. You destroyed his baseball memorabilia collection? <laughs> at the moment, it was very funny. Everyone was very amused. How did it happen? But then the guilt now is just really eating me. It's, it, it's, I mean, it's kind of balanced because it was very funny and people very much enjoyed it. But I'm feeling very guilty and I feel like you, as just our wisest friend, would have some suggestion of how I can deal with this because it's, it's just really eating me up inside. Well, you could just take a big, big, giant back box of baseball cards and bring it over there. He's not going to notice the difference. I think he'll notice. It's not baseball cards. This was like... His dad played in the major leagues. It was like his, from the start of his career to the end of his career. Every year, the cards, the balls, the bats. Well. It's a, see, it's, it's kind of a big problem. It's a very, very, very big problem. It's this big. <laughs> you know what else is this big? Is this relating to your problem? Your else is really, really big. <laughs> I, so, so big. You gotta tell me. <laughs> the rent. The rent is big. <laughs> but it's what you signed up for. You know, I my my rules for subletting, it's 90 well, 10. Well, there's something else too. Because it's like that's my, really, really my big. name is on the lease, so. I feel yeah. like there's distance between us. This there is thing. a distance, okay. and that distance <laughs> yeah. is caused by a certain scent, <laughs> a certain malodorous intention <laughs> that has entered this room. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 I had to borrow some of your money. I was going to return it, but I just felt like some of your advice to me might have been to go on eBay and buy Jeff some more of that. So I kind of preemptively took the money, knowing that your advice would be I'll loan you money because you're such a great guy. I hear you talking about money. Yeah. But sometimes when we talk about something, there's something underneath it that we're really talking about. <laughs> like we were talking about the rent. Yeah. And we're having up here, yeah. but down here. <laughs> I don't like to go down here. I know, but there's this certain you know, I, sulfurous. This is, this is full of vulnerability and yeah. I'm. I don't think I don't think this this is about money. What's gonna kind of end our roommate relationship? I don't think it's about money at all. I think it's about a certain wafty, floating, stinky. Spinky, spiky, spooky, spooky, spick. It's because I'm going to fuck up because of my dad, right? That's what you're talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about your dad. No, you know that he encouraged me to ruin other people's stuff growing up. That was what he did. And that has just filled me with this shame down in this area. The shame is down here. Yeah. And that's, I, that shame comes up and then I break people's things. And then I'm like, love me now, Dad. And he doesn't. And then I just live in this area. Oh. And then I steal your money, and this grows. <laughs> Experiment number 11, leaving town. Experiment number 12, and the final experiment of the evening. Nicole and her friend, unless he doesn't show up, in which case, Nicole is totally fine and doesn't want to talk about it.
so much for coming out tonight for another laboratory. Before I send you off, a few notes. First off, uh, this is an Egg Games Improv production. If you haven't been doing improv for a while, it's not, ooh, I want to take classes about that. Well, there's kind of classes. There's classes, but they aren't this. Uh, <laughs> But they are very fun. Also shows all the time, happening all the time, here and at the, uh, in the South Mission. Before uh, you go outside, I'm to remind you to get beverages, finish them inside, and then also, if you'd like to have more beverages or compare notes about any of the experiments you saw tonight, uh, please join us over at Bon Bar. If you go down, hit 16, turn left, and it's on the other side of the street, uh, kind of near the, uh, on the side of the park station. Uh, please don't hang out by outside, there's people who live nearby. Uh, Alright, and uh, also thank you very much to Michael up in the booth for... <laughs>